Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember my work? Studying the genophage? I remember. Didn't tell you full story. Discovered that Krogan population was growing too quickly. Overcoming genophage. Had to take steps. Personally led a team, created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies. Restabilized Krogan population. Nice job. I can see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. The Krogan would be a danger to the whole galaxy if the genophage was cured. Exactly. Best solution for everyone, even Krogan, can discuss more later. More pressing issue now. Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We've got to focus on the Collectors, Morton. Understood. We'll gather intel. Maybe have time later. If plans change, suggest starting with Clan Erdnot. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here, Commander. I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, named Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. If we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. Can you tell me more about relocating your sister? My father is after my sister. I've kept her hidden for years, but his agents have tracked her to Ilium. I need to help her. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay.
Your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? I had it done a few years back. Galactic Beauty Solutions. You should really give them a call. You know, I'm gonna do it. My life is too long to deal with an asymmetrical scalp. Galactic Beauty Solutions. Serving maiden, matron, matriarch, and you. The division of Elkos Combine. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. I... well, I guess it's not like I attack those colonies. I'm just watching trends. Whatever you say. <sighs> Do you have anything flashier? <sighs> I want something that says... <sighs> Coming up I later today, we release our annual <sighs> list of Ilium's ten you. richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the Volus finally rolled to the top? <laughs> hey, you! Yeah! You! Shepard! That one's for free. You'll regret the next one. Now who are you and what's your problem? Like you don't know. Your friend came into my bar, harassed my people, and tried to get the deed to the place. That crap might fly on Omega, but Ilium has laws. I've got security feeds all over my bar. If you or your group bothers my people again, I'll have you arrested so fast, you'll redshift on your way to the prison transport. Let's go to our bar. I want to see this. I'm Commander Shepard's squad mate, practically second in command. You don't... That's right. Anybody messing with me will answer to my good friend, Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? You're alive. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Conrad. <gasps> Ha! Kick him in the quad! Sorry, my father was a Krogan. Okay, okay, I have that coming. But I'm so happy to see you alive, I don't even mind. Carrying on the work you started has been so hard, but I've tried to do what you would have wanted. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive. But my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport. 
She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my Just let pay. me know if you need any help, Shepard. physiology absolutely in fact I use this model at home sir. oh do you listen I know the data is vital to the Carosa family Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pass Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get it. I recognize that armor. You're with that other guy, Werner, Commander Shepard's friend. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner, and I'm gone. I swear. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. ...who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exosuit-wearing employees. Genetic paradigms invite you to consider environmental adaptive therapy. Our trained staff has a success rate approaching 40%. Come to Genetic Paradigms and come out of your shell. A division of Elkos Combine. Let's do it. Excellent. Does living so at a higher time. altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. you know, by the architectural unit has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. The news comes as new home radio apartments to spacious rooftop mansions. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. 
Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being an Asari matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She... An independent inquiry has dismissed claims by one Corporal Tombs about a shadowy organization known as Cerberus. A disturbed Tombs says Stars, Cerberus your skin held looks amazing. Prisoners. You're but not using biotics to touch things that's already destroyed. I just tried Exeter. New Exeter.
I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with the consult and figure out what options work for you. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Bad luck on the stock market. Death piling up. Safe. Perhaps you need to explore other options. I need a 100 percent safety gear. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard! I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. How's Zeus' hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. 
Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters worked with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh... I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a show. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Would you rather the colonists all be dead? That would make it simpler. And you could have gunned down the slaves the Thorians sent against you. That would have been easier. But you took the harder path. So will I. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned... Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or... Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions! It's a big, diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. 
Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named... Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. 
I should go. 